Let's now start with writing a very simple Cypress test. I would like to visit a website and I will want to assert that correct title and URL is displayed. This is very simple yet very often used scenario. Before you start writing any test, try to think about the test flow. So step number one will be to visit the website and step number two, write some simple assertion about title and URL. But before we start, let me show you a quick tip. You can include a Cypress commands autocomplete inside your editor by simply adding a reference types on the top of your test files. So go on the top of our test file and at the first line do three slashes and now type reference types equal now at Cypress and close the brackets just like this and as you can see the colors have changed it's not a comment anymore and now if I go in our test and type sci and dot you can see it will automatically shows us all the available Cypress options which we can use inside our tests. As you can see, very quick tip which can very help us with all the code we need to write. But before we move on, let's change our test description. So I would like to, for example, assert URL. And in this case, I will be not using this website. I have found one much more simple, which is just example.com. So let's take the URL and paste it inside our visit function. So now if we go into Cypress and run our demo spec, you can see it has visited our website, but some error has been found. And this is a nice way how Cypress is throwing you errors. As you can see, we have a lot of description about what has been found. So now we can go back and change our code. And I think you have probably saw it because I have put double HTTPS. So let's now fix it. Now the URL address should be correct. If I save it right now, the Cypress will automatically rerun the test. So press save and go back to our Cypress test runner. And as you can see, now everything is passing. And you probably know whenever your test is passing, everything is green. But if something is incorrect or you do some mistake, it will be red, like in our previous example, with all the nice explanation what went wrong. This is a very powerful feature of Cypress because it's giving you a very deep and advanced logs and information about what went wrong and you can always very simply fix your tests. So we have our visiting website ready. Now we can add some assertion. So like I mentioned, we would like to assert the title or in this case URL of the website. For that, we again start with sci. Dot, and now we have multiple options, but we want to get URL and Cypress gives us a function called URL. As you can see, very simple. Now we would like to get that URL and perform some assertion. Basically what this function is doing, it's getting the URL and storing it inside the Cypress. Now we can continue chaining the commands by simply adding that and now we can continue with assertion. One common assertion in Cypress is called should. And now, as you can see, we have multiple options we can use. In this case, I would like to use contain and now the specific URL. So for example, example.com. Now, if I save it and run it, the test should be passing. As you can see, our test is passing and inside our Cypress logs, we can see that we get the URL and we are calling an assertion. We are expected that this URL is including this piece of that URL, which is correct. And that means our test is working. Let's go back now into the editor and let me quickly explain how does the chaining works. As you can see, we are calling sci.url, which is basically telling Cypress, get the URL and store it. Now we do dot shoot. 
that means that our URL which we return from here now moved into this function should and what is this function doing it takes our URL and try to call assertion that our URL is containing this string in our case the part of the URL now if I try to make it not work for example I'm gonna make a typo and hit example.cm and not com. Now if I save it and rerun the test, as you can see it's running, it's trying to perform assertion and it failed. Now we can clearly see it failed because of assertion error. We have been expecting example.com to include example.cm and not com, which is of course incorrect. And Cypress tells us that it has been waiting for 4 seconds and trying to assert the value but after the four seconds it was still incorrect so the test failed and it also gives us which file was it and what any line it failed again very easy to debug and trace back your errors or failed assertions with cypress so let's go back and let's fix it again now if i put example.com save it go back now the test has been rerun and you can see it's passing but as you can see, the test ran very fast, so we didn't see the execution, but don't worry. You can always click this button and it will automatically rerun the test. And as you can see, you can keep running it all the time. In this case, or the test is very fast, but don't worry. In the future, we will be working with much more complex end-to-end -end tests and the execution will be much slower. So that's all for this video. I hope you understand everything. And in the next video, we'll add a second test and take a look on how to assert the title of the web page.